Welcome to season two of the Fashion and Color Podcast, your favorite and soon to be number one fashion podcast in the world. I want to invite you to step into our space where dynamic conversations with the most creative designers, trailblazers, and those influencing fashion. This podcast was inspired by our groundbreaking book, Fashion and Color, Volume 1, which is a celebration and preservation of the rich history of Black designers who have shaped the fashion industry. Remember, please support designers of color. Let's get into this week's episode. So this is a moment I have been waiting for for months. I am so excited because last year we had the opportunity to honor a fashion icon that inspires me and I know inspires you as well. Our 2023 fashion icon went to Miss Kelly Rowan, who is an entertainer, who is an actress, who is a mother, who is a businesswoman, who's an entrepreneur, who's a philanthropist, and I cannot go on and on and on and on, (laughs) y'all. Join me in welcoming Kelly Rowland to the Fashion and Color Show. Thank you. I am so honored to be here. Oh, my god! I'm so excited to have this conversation. so honored to have you. Thank you. Honored to see you. I feel like this is like, first of all, I got the cutest Christmas card in the mail. (laughs) From you and your family. And I was just like, this is so, she's so thoughtful. Aw, thank that you. so thoughtful. I was like, I'm on the Christmas list, the Christmas yes. card list now. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, you were a sweet touch of our 2023. Oh. It was an extra, I think, pep in my stuff when I came back and I wanted to. Did you feel the love? I did. I did. I there was so really, much really love for did. you in that room. It was. It was a really special room that night. Yeah, sure. people were like, yeah, I mean, I, I hope she feels it. I did. People can say it, but I, but when you feel it, you know it's real. Yeah, I almost, like I, I told you before, like I almost didn't take it in. It was like very overwhelming, but I was so grateful. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I meant every word of my speech of like who we are as a culture and what we bring to the table and our cool being on another level and layer yes. of cool, like all of that. Like I really, really meant it. And what how you curated that room mm. and the souls that you have in the room, the creativity in that room. Like I, I, we were walking to our seats and there was this woman with like some, a knitted, was that knitted, Sam? Something like knitted that this woman had mm. on. I was like, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every other seat was like someone creative or fashion design, yeah. which was so cool to me. And I don't know where she is, but wherever you are, I still want. <laughs> we have to get Kelly that. I want that look. It was get so fire. You. So fire for We sure. got to get that for you. And the highlight for me was having your husband actually introduce you when he pulled up those comments on Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like that was a moment that I feel like. It was a moment between you two, but I feel like he shared it with us. He did. And I don't know. It just felt so good. Yeah. Like, everybody, I think, had tears in their eyes. Yeah. And I, I, I was shocked that he, that he, I mean, Tim is a wonderful speaker. But, like, it's like the more he talks, the more you fall in love with him. Yeah. And he's just really authentic and just, I, yeah. <laughs> I chose up. I chose up. <laughs> I love it. So we were talking earlier, Kelly. Mm -hmm. It's like we're watching your evolution in real time Mm -hmm. between being just a grown woman, a mom, a wife, a dope actress. Thank you. Do you know what I mean? Like we're watching it in real time. I wanted to know kind of what was the journey? Because we all get to this place where we're kind of not fully comfortable in our skin, mm-hmm. where we're in a little insecure. At least I did. I went through that phase. Me okay. Too. But what was the journey like going from there to kind of where you are right now? Um, I mean, I'm 43 now. A long one. <laughs> I think it's ever changing like that mm-hmm. too. And um, I think that there's so many moments of doubt and question and am I doing this right? Am I getting this right? And I think that when you just kind of move in your space, in your time, you get it right. Yeah. And you don't look, cause I think that for me, it was looking for approval from others. Mm. I mean, even in my therapy now, 
that's something that I'm working on. Like I, people pleasing, mm. you know what I mean? And just figuring that part of me out and then kind of like leaving it where I learned it. Yeah. Just like shedding it. So yeah. I'm just at, like in that shedding mode. So that's probably what you all are seeing is this shedding mode of, I don't want that. It don't, it don't go with these outfits. It no don't more. go with the <laughs> outfits, girl. It, it don't, don't go. go with it's it. It's not in season. Right. People pleasing is not in season. Right. <laughs> right. And I mean, I'm telling you, we see it. Yeah. Thank we you. We see it. I mean, when you, even the first scene of Mia Cooper when you came out, it's like you got on the screen and it was captivating, Kelly. Oh, thank you. It was captivating. And I feel like you're in this moment where you're having fun with fashion. Am I right? Yes. A lot of fun. Like, like you're taking risks. Yeah. You're just like... A lot of fun. I think that you should. I, I yeah. think that that's the, the thing I love about Grace Jones. It's the thing yeah. I love about watching Zendaya. Right. It's the thing that I love about watching who else? Like... Um, oh my gosh, I actually really love Timothy Chalamet. Uh -huh. I love watching him because I do love menswear too. Yeah. Like it's the thing that I love about Coleman Domingo. I'm like, what is he about to wear next? I love right. watching him. So I'm just like kind of looking at people have fun and I want to have fun too. I love it. Yeah. We see it. Thank you. And we're loving it. There is something about you that is undeniably authentic. Thank you. Like it's... It's kind of strange, Kelly, and rare. <laughs> like, there is something so real and authentic about you. Where where does that come from? Like, what is that grounded in? Um, that's my mom. That's my aunts. I I I think it's them. To be honest, I, I think that um, it's faith. Mm. Um, and I like literally even before we started, I said, Lord, just let me remember to be me mm. when I'm answering the questions mm. and be okay with that. Cause there was a time where it was like, you know, in the nineties, all the interviews were like this. Yeah. I was, um, you know, uh, media trained and this mm -hmm. and that. And I think that there came a time where I was just like, I just, I mean, I was honest then, but just, I think it's fucking 43. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is too. I think it's, but, that. I, I also think you get to this place, life experiences. I mean, I remember my, my dad had a stroke in um, uh, 2014. Mm -hmm. And that was a pivotal moment for me. Because wow. I was like, and he, he hasn't been able to speak since then. Oh, wow. And so when that happened, I remember saying, life is short. Mm -hmm. Anything that can happen and I vow that in any space, I had to be me. Yeah. So I also think these things happen in our lives that make us go, we're not going to be here forever. It's so true. So if I'm going to be here, I need to be me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right? And you encourage others to be yeah. themselves too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I love that. So I've never told you this story. Okay. But back in 2009, mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to uh, do a fashion show backstage production for Caribbean Fashion Week. I remember And this. you performed. Yep. And you were in this corner. And I never said anything because I was so nervous. Really? To come say hello to you. And I remember calling my then boyfriend, now husband, being like, Kelly Rowland is backstage. I don't know what to say to her. Oh, my God! And at the time, you were a judge on this fashion show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he was like, talk about that. You love her on that show. Yeah. Girl, I never did. And I remember always thinking, dang, what if I had just said hello? So this is a real full circle it moment for me. It is a full circle moment. That's so <laughs> crazy. Because I remember It was in that. Jamaica. I remember uh -huh. that. I remember that clearly. Wow. Yes. I was going to tell you that when we had dinner. No. Oh, okay. I was just like, this is so <laughs> crazy. So, first of all, your support of young black designers. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, this t-shirt you're wearing right now, <laughs> um, it doesn't go unnoticed. I saw you on the Parent magazine, mm -hmm. and I instantly knew that pink dress was Harbison. Yes. Because Harbison does the different buttons. Yeah. And I was just like, that is so dope that you brought him into that moment with you. Mm -hmm. 
Like, is that intentional for you? Um, it's intentional for me and my whole team. Like, mm -hmm. whenever, like, we're trying to think about designers, we always think about, like, where we want to celebrate in place. Yeah. You know, I, I think that in being black and brown, like, sometimes we don't get these opportunities. Right. And I'd like to, like you, create opportunities wherever there's a moment to create an opportunity. Right, right, period. Right. Um, because I think that when we see each other, we see that the world the more of the world sees all of us. Like right. we're reflected in each right. other. So it is, it's very like intentional. I can see sure. that. I can see that. And the designers need it, by the way. So thank you. Of course. On behalf of them. Of course. Thank you so much. Of course. Um, where where do you want to go? Like where do you see yourself like in terms of entertainment mm -hmm. and fashion? Mm -hmm. Like what are some of your dreams, if you don't mind sharing with us? Can you share? Of course. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, people have asked me before, like, do I want to do a line? Or mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know that that I do. Mm -hmm. um, I like to. I like to collaborate. Maybe right. you know what I mean. Like collaborations. Like I. I work really well with collaborations, I and it's that. so fun. And to be able to do that, and not just like. I, I don't know. I. I feel like. I would do that. Yeah. A collaboration would be fun because yeah. I feel like. You the know, more brands, brands about to hit you up like crazy right I, now. I, I would be ready. <laughs> They're like. I would so be ready. I, I think that it's space for everybody. Yeah. I remember at one point in time, like, I remember I was so excited. I was like, I want to do a line. And then I saw how many lines were just popping mm -hmm. up and showing up. And I was like, well, I don't know that I want to do a line <laughs> right, anymore. Right. Because it was, it seemed like the the space was so saturated, right, right. and it's like, what do you bring different to the table? Right. You know, um, and and how do you affect culture? It's it's one thing that I like about certain designers is that they want to penetrate the culture, mm -hmm. so that what they're doing is like, it's felt through time. It's a part of their legacy. Right, like right. if you're gonna do it, like do it and just really yeah. let it be a, yeah. a thing. I feel like Pharrell is doing it. Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. So He's bringing the culture. All of it. All of All it. All of it. The first time I was, I was in Paris when he showed his first show, and I cried like a baby. You did. I did. Because, I can see that. Yeah, because, I one, I have literally, when Titan was born, this is like a true story, when Titan was born, I remember I said, I want Titan to be the coolest dressed little toddler. Mm -hmm. I had like Pharrell pictures up as my <laughs> Oh, your bitch and As I, Yes, I right, did. Right. I would have like half pink and have the pink match with this really cool cheetah print. Like mm -hmm. the way he mixes things and, and genres and just makes it so effortless and yeah. cool. And it's so authentic to who he is because he likes to take in the world and then like spit it out and, and with love. Yeah. You know what I mean? In this way where... He's just so dope And you to can me. feel it. He's another one of those people He's who so like, the authenticity mm -hmm. is like... I agree. There. Yeah, it is. It All is. the time, too. He's yeah. so consistent. And this industry is full of inconsistency right, sometimes so right. to have that consistency and to see him every single time and he's supportive and just honest and real and he's definitely one in a million. I love that. One of one. So many people watching this, Kelly are um, trying to figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. Fashion is a really tough industry. Mm -hmm. It's hard. There's no straight line. There's no like, okay, you do this, and then you get this, and mm -hmm. you do this. And, and there's a lot of people I've been speaking to lately that just feel stuck. Mm -hmm. And so was there a time where you felt stuck? And how were you able to get out of that? Mm -hmm. um, because I like to be able to... I like for people to know that that's normal. Yes, it is. And that you can you can get past it. When I was looking at what other people were doing, I was stuck. Mm. Um, and there's this thing that I tell Titan, like you have to keep your eye on your main goal. Mm. Like whatever excited you to be doing whatever it is that you're doing in that time. Right. You can't look to the left or right. right of you if you're swimming in like a... You know, right. like you swim your course. Right. Don't look at anybody else's. The stuck is real mm -hmm. because I I know what it feels like. It's so 
frustrating. Because you feel like you have so much in you yes. and so much to give. Yes. Yeah. But sometimes I, I feel like for me, this is for me, when I was focused on what everybody else was doing, mm. I was stuck because I kept mm. comparing. Mm. So if I'm comparing, how am I celebrating myself? Right. I don't have the space to because right. I'm consuming so much of everybody else. And what they have is beautiful, is right. great. Right. But how, I can't benefit fit off of them. Right. I have to like benefit off of me and know like that what I'm doing is good enough. Right. Cause right. some like in my head I was thinking it wasn't good enough or it's not great enough or it's not this enough. What is and what is enough? Right. What is your enough? Right. Right. What makes you feel validated? What makes you feel seen? And usually when you're doing whatever it is by not looking at what's to the left or right of you and you're doing it with joy and passion you're fulfilled mm. and everyone deserves to be fulfilled, especially right. if it's in a space and lane you absolutely love. It can be journalism, fashion, singing, acting, writing, whatever right. it is. Do not look at everybody else. That's the issue now on social media. That's the issue now on social media. That's why people are depressed yes. and upset. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that stay in your stay lane. In your lane. <laughs> There is a question that most women get asked, and I actually hate to ask you this. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Because nobody it. asks men this question, mm -hmm. but you are you have a husband, mm -hmm. you have two kids, mm -hmm. you have not just a career, but a thriving career. Thank you. You're a philanthropist. Like, and it looks like you have just like really dope girlfriends. I do. Like you have friendships. I do. What's the secret? How are you managing all of this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have any, like, there, it's like, is there like something like that you're intentional about um, that kind of keeps everything together? Yes. I, I love my time with my husband. I love my time with my kids. But I love my time with my girlfriends. Yeah. Like, we have a good time. Yeah. It feeds me. It feeds my soul. Yeah. And to cackle and be silly or be goofy right. or say some crazy stuff. <laughs> right. Like, that's fun to me. Yeah. And um, it's always been like that for me. Yeah. It really, really has. And my self-time is important, too. I don't get a lot of it, mm -hmm. but I do love being around people. Yeah. And I feel like my spirit and soul is, is fed when I'm around people. I don't know that I've had any time by myself for a while. <laughs> uh -huh. But somebody asked me, they're like, would you do a vacation by yourself? And I was like... What would I do by myself? I don't know what I would do, do by myself exactly. either. Nobody's asking. Because when I have an idea, who am I going to talk to about it? it? Exactly. And the whole people, I mean, you can be on, you can get on the phone. Right. But the whole purpose of the trip is like to, to be present with yes, someone. With just, no, present with, if you're going on a trip, to yourself, be present with, with yourself. yourself. For me, I will have so many ideas that I need somebody to talk to my <laughs> ideas about. Wait, what's your sign? Pisces. Okay, I'm an Aquarian. When's your birthday? In like a few weeks, March 18th. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Like, <laughs> we're like next door yeah, to each other. Yeah. So I feel like this, I, I feel the same way. I, I operate well with my brain when I talk to Sam, another friend I know, uh, Joe and Tab and Tim. Mm. Like when I can just talk everything yeah. out. Oh. It's your way of like getting it all getting out. out. Yeah. There's too much going on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's such a blessing to be able to have creatives and listeners to mm -hmm. help me figure it all out. Cause whew, it's, it's a, a lot. lot going on. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. For sure. I mentioned that you are a businesswoman, mm -hmm. an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in our community that watches. What's like some lessons that you wish you knew like 15 years ago around entrepreneurship and business? To surround myself with people who know way more than I do mm. in, in whatever business or field that is yeah. um, and ask the questions. Doesn't matter what question it mm -hmm. is. Like no, qu I remember I used to think, well, if I ask this question, well, I still don't think I don't to know. And then they're gonna, I, I used to, then they're going to try to take advantage of me. Yes, yeah. But Ask, ask the questions, um, surround myself with smart people, or surround yourself with really, really smart people. Um, what else? Just, I wish I would have heard just do it mm. in my 20s more. Mm. Because I think I was so busy, like, 
do you think it's going to? It was just so many questions after right, another. Right. But it was like, I should have just did it. I love that. You know what I mean? You yeah. should have did it. And if it works, great. If it and don't, if it great. Don't, it's but fine. at least I did it. You know what I mean? We had somebody on the podcast recently, and they said, everything is restorative. Oh. And I thought about that. When you think about life and like everything is restorative, mm -hmm. then you're just like, well, anything can be restored. So even if I make a mistake, that yeah. can be restored too. It's so true. Yeah. It's I just so think, true. I think about that and I'm like, that's so good. If we approach life like that, like what would we do? It's so true. I mean, it's, who was that? The, somebody said it was Kobe or Michael Jordan. I always go to basketball references. Me too. There's, it's uh, so motivating. Uh, but um, Michael Jordan or Kobe, was talk, they were talking about failing. Mm. And they were talking about, I think he said, I think it was Michael Jordan, how many games he lost, how many shots oh, he yeah, missed. Oh, yeah, I think that was Michael yeah. Jordan. Oh, yeah. what a quote. Yeah. And I was so happy I heard that because I thought I was pulling it up for Titan because of his basketball. Mm -hmm. It was for me. I know. It was totally for me, and it was so perfect, and it was so on time. And it makes you think different. It makes yeah. you like approach your life right. different, right. for sure. Was Mia Koopa, was that a risk for you? Yes. Or did you feel like, like, what did you feel like going into that role? Petrified. I mean, that was a big role. It was like. petrified. I, I was petrified because I was like, oh, it's, it's, I'm number one on the cost sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I was thinking, like, oh my God. And what does that work look like? I think sometimes, even as an entrepreneur, going back to that question, mm -hmm. the workload looks yeah. so big. And it scares us. Yeah. But I think that if God gives us this vision or this feeling in our soul to do it, he obviously feels like you're up for the task. Yeah. So you just got to run towards how, it. How did it come about? Like, did it? I saw Tyler at um, um, my mama T's uh, Waco Gala. Okay. And he sees me across the room. He goes, you're Mia. And I was like, who is Mia? And he told me about the character. He's like, I'm going to send you this script. Like tonight, I said, okay. He's like, read it for me. Let me know what you think. I read that script. And I was like, nope, nope, <laughs> no. Nope. You did. Oh, I said, I said no. I said oh. no at first. And he was like, why are you saying no? And he talked to me, and he made me feel comfortable. Mm. I then called a friend of mine, and he said that if it doesn't scare me, what's the purpose of doing mm. it? And I did it, and I learned so much as an actress. As a producer, how long did it take? How long would the girl? You don't shout. Tyler, Tyler shoots very quick. We right, were there for right. eleven days. Wow, eleven days we shot this film, and wow. I was also nervous about that because I call Tyler lightning. He's literally like lightning. He moves so fast. His brain right, moves right. so fast, um, and I was like, he he likes to move fast, and I like to. I, I knew what I liked, and mm -hmm. I was still gonna have to learn what he liked as right. well, like on set. So I was thinking about all these things and. I was like, no, no, no. When did you finally say yes? After I talked to my friend who told me I should run towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. I mean, every comment that I see about you, I have my own feelings about you in that movie. And I mentioned like it was captivating, but everybody is talking about you. Oh, thank you. Thank like, you, guys. Like, they are talking. And then the fact that the movie is, number one, yeah. on Netflix. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier that, like, you had the call with the team, and they yeah. were telling you about all the success. Yes. And I didn't, I was, like, super excited, of course. Right. And, like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. But, you know, sometimes, like, you'll get, like, really good news, and it's so great. You're like, this is great. <laughs> But you don't know what to do with it. But you're like, oh, this is great. <laughs> like, you're so excited. Uh, and I was so excited. But I was like, almost like it was daunting for a second. Right, you know what right. I mean? And I mean, Tyler has so many, like, great, like, like movies. Like, he just th puts them all right, out. You know right. what I mean? And I was like, wow. And, and to hear, you know, feedback, whether it's. Pos positive or negative, but the positive comments were so incredible. Yes. And so incredible. And and I was so just taken aback. 
For sure. I hope you take all of this in. Yeah. yeah. All of this Kelly love. Yeah. The world is filled with Kelly love right Thank now. I'm just you. saying. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thank you. Um, What's next for you? <sighs> what's I next? I know that's always like the question, right? Um, More music. I can't wait. More film and TV. I cannot wait. Um, okay, okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes, yes, okay, yes, how yes. are you approaching music right now? Because you're in this place where you're like, I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah. Like, what's your? Can we have like a little sneak? Um, like, you know what? I feel like I feel like this. Uh huh. So it's very intimate. Okay. Yeah, I think the instruments that I want to use and the people that I'm so grateful to be working with on on this project. I can't say that yet, yeah. but I can say that their dreams, mm. like their 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 dreams, like people, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. that we get a chance. I get a chance to collaborate with them. It's right. so cool. So I feel like that. Um, film and TV, for sure. I'm having such a good time with film and TV. Um, and what else? I want to build something this year. Mm. I want to build something that is a part of my legacy. Like, yeah. um, that I can leave to my children. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something yep. like that they can have and yeah. be able to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, help me to figure out later on in life when, you know, we can sell it for however much we yeah. need to. And I teach them to tithe with whatever they Exactly. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I'd like to build something that um, I'm passionate about and excited about and that continues to unfold. And, yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. you been thinking about what that is? Yes. Okay. I won't ask. No, I can tell you. You can camera, tell me? Of course. Okay, 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 okay. Sure. okay. But, I mean, I, I feel like there's, there's space in that in that place but it's several places i feel like i want to continue to be yeah for sure i'm so excited about that thank you oh i'm so excited thank about that, you Kelly. thank you so i have some rapid fire questions okay for you. you ready we love <laughs> All right. okay. a fashion or beauty trend you're secretly hoping makes a comeback a fashion or beauty trend i hope makes a comeback it's actually kind of doing it um it's like uh, the mullet slash wolf yes. cut. Yes. I keep trying to take my approach out uh -huh. with my hairstylist, Jay. Uh -huh. We're like, oh, that one didn't work. We got to start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> so like the wolf slash mullet cut. Okay. Because it's all about the way it's cut on your face. I see so many people like doing it. And I was like, I really, really want to do it, but I don't know how. <laughs> Cause I kind of wanted to be like a nod to nineties, but right. like new right? and just like for my face, because I, I kind of did a mullet like with, in my DC days, Okay, you know what okay. I mean? My little like pixie yeah, cut, yeah, yeah. like kind of mulletish. Yeah. So I was like, how do I do that? And it's like a nod. Maybe I put like a little color maybe in there. I was thinking, mm -hmm. I think it's the color. Yeah. I think it's the color yeah. and how it is on my face. But yeah. I'm going to figure it out. Figure, all right, Kelly and the out. mullet coming soon. <laughs> Who's your ultimate fashion icon? Ultimate fashion icon would probably have to be Naomi Campbell. Oh. I, I love her. And um, the way she walks, I, she can make a damn I mean, piece of string right. just look like that is the most fashionable piece of string I've ever seen in my life. Because she's just... It's, it's everything that she is, and the clothes don't wear her. She wears the clothes. Every time. It doesn't matter what you put her in. She owns it, and I love her ownership quality of the clothes. I think that's why she rules the runway, because even though the designers will have something absolutely magical on, she's the magic. She is the magic, and yeah. let me tell you, she just donated 20% of her Hugo Boss collection to our nonprofit. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. All the sa global sales that came in for a week, she donated to wow. Icon 360. So she told. And her heart is great. So, okay, choice of footwear, mm -hmm. sneakers or heels? I'm going to have to say sneakers. You're in LA, though. I know. That's y'all's thing. I know, no, it is. But like today, I have on cowboy boots and they are by. They are by March Marcello Marcella. Marcella Marcella Von Marcella. Von, Ber von, von okay. Berlin actually. Yeah, I'm like where, where are the the the, the, 
you know, yeah, very, very comfortable. What's a piece in your wardrobe that you could never part with? A piece in my wardrobe I could never part with will probably have to be my favorite Levi's jeans. <laughs> I, I'm so serious. Wow. I, I literally wear Levi's jeans every day. Wow. Um, just because they fit, like, even when, like, in my, when I'm fluctuating, mm -hmm. they just, they just. It worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Any black designer you've had your eye on lately? Christopher John Rogers. I have to show you this Christopher John Rogers coat that I have. Oh. That I wore today. I mean, he is and you killing know, it. You know who got me into Christopher John Rogers was um Emma. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. She's yes. like, oh, my God, I love him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, coffee or tea? My son would tell me coffee, but I drink a lot of tea. <laughs> a lot of tea. Early bird or night owl? I get on everybody's nerves in the morning because I wake up. Good morning. <laughs> I can so see that. I'm a morning person. I can see sure. that. Texting or talking? Talking. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, this one is going to be really hard. Okay. Dancing or singing? Is this with a cocktail or no? With a cocktail. Well, that's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that. I added that at the end because I was like, we all going to assume it's singing, but yeah. I bet it's dancing. I mean, I, I have fun around the house where there's like being silly and dancing right. with my kids. Or I just think of that as joy. Singing is joy, of course, to me too. Right. Like, but Y'all all know that, but I love if I'm out and I'm having a good time. I got a little, I got a little cocktail. Well, I it's a whole there. situation. It's a whole situation. <laughs> uh, last thing, Kelly. Again, like there are so many people watching this who want to pursue their dreams, mm -hmm. and you've done it in a way, like gracefully. You've done it in multiple arenas. You've done it in your personal life. Thank you. What advice do you have? Don't shrink. Um, in a society that's telling us how we should look, mm. what kind of airbrushing we need, what size our body should be, what it looks like if you're whatever shade they deem is in at the time or trend at the time, um, I feel like it's so important to just be yourself mm -hmm. and don't shrink because this world will eat you up and spit you out if you're not like, you don't stand for something. Yeah. So I'd say stand up for yourself, stand up for your beliefs, stand up for how you feel, who you are, for the others that are coming behind you yeah. that probably need your voice, um, that need your boldness yeah. um, and need you. Um, rise, rise up. Yeah. Like rise up and don't shrink and walk in your greatness and walk in your boldness because it's only one of you. That's another thing. No comparing. Don't compare. Yeah. It's it's for the weak. It's for the ignorant comparisons. Yeah. It's for someone with no imagination. Oh, and I so think good. that if if God created this earth and he created so many incredible people in it and he created this thumbprint or fingerprint that all of us only have, it's, right. only, it's one. only one. And I think God thinks the most of us to make us one of one act like it. Mm. So I'm, I'm learning to act like it. So if we all act like it together, we don't have to feel like, you know, we are... Uh, some, someone is doing something better or whatever than we are. Like, don't compare, don't shrink, like rise. It's just rise. I have nothing to say. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. For thank being you. on the show. Thank you for having me. I can't wait to have dinner. Me too. I cannot wait for that moment. Me it's too. coming. Yes. But such an honor. Thank like you. for Ditto. us, it meant the world to be able to honor you that night. Um, to see what you're doing right now. I'm so excited about your future. Thank you. I am so excited about where you're going. Well, can I say, you have no idea how much that award meant to me. Mm. I think in a space where, speaking for myself, 
I compared myself mm-hmm. and always wondered like, well, this isn't good enough or this is like I, I did all that. So everything I'm saying here, I've experienced it. Mm-hmm. But to get that award mm. and to feel like my self-expression was worth celebrating, yes. it was such an such yes. an honor for me. When you looked over at me, and I can't remember what you said, <laughs> but I was sobbing. Oh, I don't you? know if you saw from the side. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. Oh. I was literally, you looked straight at me, and I don't remember... You said something to me. I think you just felt like you saw me. I did. I actually felt like she actually sees me. Yeah. Like, it's not she understands that this isn't, like, just some big fashion. It was like you saw me. I saw your light. And when you... I'm about to cry. I saw your light. But when you saw me, I don't know. For me, I just lost it. Yeah. Because I was like... Who is this woman oh, <laughs> who like ditto. who like sees me? Yeah. Like you saw so much, and in a moment, I felt it and I knew it. Yeah. And so I was just sitting over there on the side, like <laughs> oh my God, I can't hold it together. Yeah. Well, ditto. Yeah. Ditto. Yeah, thank ditto. you. It meant so much. Thank to you. Me. Thank you. Have you. No idea. So thank, thank you. you, and thank you for oh this moment. God. And I can't wait till we have dinner too. <laughs> we'll probably be like drinking our own tears. <laughs> So much. You Thank too. You. Thank you. Kelly, huh. I got something for you. This is your book. Thank you. I wrote a note in it for you. Okay. So like I'm like, you like, <laughs> yes, read it. You can slide it out. First of all, these colors are so beautiful. You know, I love me a coffee table book. So like. I know. We love you. Shout out to Shayla. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Yeah. So this book is, uh, we put it out last year as a way to preserve our history in fashion. We dedicated mm-hmm. it to the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Wow. And all the paintings are done by a black woman, Ashley Buttercup. Wow. From Brooklyn. The foreword is by Olivier from Balmain. Mm. And so, like, as you're thinking about designers, there's a QR code in there that takes you directly to the designers. Um, so bomb. To the designers' uh, social pages. So you can just like, you know, take the QR code and see what the designer has. This is brilliant. Yeah. So we're there hadn't been a book written like that since 1982. Really? Yeah. And I was like, it's about time. So Laura James is another. Yeah, she's dope. She's dope. She's. Yeah. That's hard. Oh wow. Uh huh. As First of all, as... I love these drawings. We have all the original paintings. The artist oh. is amazing. Are they up in, in the office? We haven't put them in the office yet. You got to put them in the office. I got to put them in the office. got to put them in the office. I know. Yeah. We've been holding. We're going to do an exhibition with them you at some should. point. Yeah. Yeah. But so these are sisters. Fly. Yeah. But I was like, I got to make sure. I had a book for you that night, but of course, I she's amazing. So many of her pieces. You have? She did a collaboration with an artist, Har- Harmonia. Yes. I have that you that one Noel? dress. Yes. I did not know you had yes. Noel. Yes. I I've loved her for a very long time and when I got that dress, I remember wearing it on the beach and somebody said, "Why are you wearing that?" I was like, "What do you mean?" She said, "Because that's art. It should be in a case, in a loose sight wow. case." Um I wore it in uh Mexico wow. and I, this this woman said, no, that should be in a case. That's wow. art. And it is. It is. It is. It is. And but I, it's wearable I, art. It is wearable <laughs> art. It is wearable Trust art. Trust me, she wants you to wear it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. God Thank dog. You. They gave us the red light. <laughs> Kelly! Oh, oh wow. God. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Fashion and Color Podcast. I want to thank our production partner, PVA Entertainment, the Harlem's Fashion Row team. Thank you so much for your support of Harlem's Fashion Row and for your support of Designers of Color. Please be sure to leave us a five-star rating on your favorite podcast platform and be sure to share this with a friend. Welcome to the HFR Movement.